three, two, one, go. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm an ER nurse at UHC, and we're gonna discuss gastric lavage today. So you have a patient that's come in that's ingested a substance. Um, first thing you're gonna call poison control. Let's say the doctor wants to do gastric lavage. The substance has to have been ingested in the last 30 minutes, hour. You're not gonna do gastric lavage on a patient that's ingested something four hours ago. So you have your patient, doctor wants to do gastric lavage, you've collected all your supplies. These are the bags that we use here at UHC. You wanna make sure everything is clamped before you get started, that you have a, a large catheter tip syringe and some lubricant, and you're gonna educate your patient on what's about to take place. Um, the best position for the patient is to be left lying. If you can't get your patient to left, stay on their left side, um, you can lay them on their backs. So patient understands you've washed your hands, you put your gloves on, you're going to put some water in this collection bag here. You wanna fill it up and mark where it is. Make sure your water's not too hot or not too cold. You want a good warm water to instill. So this is the collection bag at the bottom. You wanna hang it lower than the bed. So we'll just put ours right here and then you're ready to go. So you want to insert your tube. You've educated your patient. You want to measure your tube, and then you're going to insert it. You want to note um, where it is. Check placement. The best way is going to be with a chest x-ray to check gastric contents. Um, remember to use your lubricant before you put it in. So the tube's in. The patient's been educated. We're ready to go. So we're going to open up the clamp to the solution bag. You can instill 50 mils, 100 mils, just to make sure your patient's tolerating it well. Clamp it, and then you're gonna open up your bottom bag. If you're having trouble with it flowing out, you can use your catheter tip syringe to just pull some out a little bit to get it flowing. And then you're gonna clamp. As, the, as it's coming out, you wanna make sure you're looking at it or you're getting pill fragments, what color is it? Because you wanna document what that looks like. So then you're going to unclamp again and instill about 100, 200 mils of fluid in, clamp, and then you're gonna unclamp your collection bag, again, noting what it looks like. You're gonna continue this process until the fluid's gonna run clear and you're not seeing any more pill fragments. And then you wanna make sure that everything you've put in has come out into your collection bag. You're gonna note um, how much has come out on this side too. When you're all done, you're gonna pull your tube out, clean up, and you're good to go. Thank you.